It's coming in. We are officially live. Hey, hey, hey. All right. We're getting set up here. Just wanted to go ahead and get you guys going live because it is three, a new time. Good morning. This is weird. Zach is our special guest. Hello. Um, Pastor Zach Mason, EBN Concept Zach Mason. What other hats? Amazon Business Zach Mason. Chamber of Commerce Zach Mason. Chamber of Commerce board member. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of male, hats. Male model? I am not a male model. <laughs> not That's since, not what I heard. Not, I did <laughs> one year. I won the 19, 1989 baby pageant DMV contest in California. So there's that. So it's just carried on into your adult life? No, not so much. But yeah, I do have a trophy. So. so this is Zach. Zach is our special guest today. Um, we are trying to bring on some people that um, might have questions about their homes, might have a social media following. Um, I think uh, Zach's really big on the socials right now. So hot right now. <laughs> anyway, um, but Zach's going to ask us a question uh, today. I don't know what uh, what avenue we're going down, but we're going to go together. Um, so for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, which may be some people, may not, uh, we've got our regulars of Heather and James and um, Nikki on here already. Uh, so welcome you guys and a few others. Don't, Brooke, don't forget your wife. Brooke. That's your wife. You forgot about your wife, man. Hey, hey. Ugh. Hey, pretty Rush lady. Um, but for those of you who don't know what we do, we, we have done these videos. The Q&A morning show might become afternoon show. I don't know. It depends on scheduling. The Q&A show. I don't know. Um, but owning a home is hard. We know that a lot of homeowners really don't know everything they should be doing. Um, we answer a lot of questions on a regular basis here at Burleson Plumbing. So we wanted to make a video, um, a, a show to answer those questions. If you want to see past videos, they are on our YouTube channel, which is also on is our website. Is it the YouTube website. channel? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. com slash QA, and there's a link right there to the playlist. You see, see them all it. in one place. You can also watch a video of Ryan breaking down a Kohler toilet that's really popular. Yeah, my head's like right in the Really popular right now. Um... So that's why we do these. We want you guys to uh, be more educated on home ownership. So um, we are going to do Hey That's Neat at the end today. Oh, switching it up. Switcheroo. These afternoon episodes, man. You never, know. Yes. you never know. You never know what you're going to get. But we will do our pen sponsor, and I know Brooke is excited about this one. That's why she's tuned in. This pen, and it, it is a custom, a custom job, and it writes like a beaut. <laughs> Malin Community College. Oh. Yeah. So we want to thank our folks at Mayland for educating the, the people of M Mitchell Avery Yancey. Did you know May is Mitchell Avery Yancey? Mm -hmm. You know I did. Okay. I did know that. Yeah, most people in Mitchell. But if you Yancey. didn't know, hit like. <laughs> look at that. See how many likes are coming look through? At, look at all the... Yeah. Brooke, I think someone's just tapping like... No, no, that's, just, okay. that's all different that, people. That's different people. <laughs> thank you, Mayland, for the pen. Yes. Um, disclaimer, uh, we are uh, in the business of plumbing and heating and electrical, but we are not responsible for the things that you may try in your home. Um, any, there is risk involved in uh, doing projects that we will be talking about. Um, so we do want you to be careful, especially around water and electricity. Um, and we are not liable. So thank you for tuning in and we will get started. Zach, what so, question do we have today? So. March can't seem to figure out if it's spring or winter. Mm -hmm. We know historically spring is coming. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do to get my house ready? Heat pump, things around the house. Like, okay. What am I? What am I looking at? Um, that's a common common theme. Um, a lot of homeowners do spring cleaning, and they usually just you know are cleaning up around the house inside. But there's a lot of things you can do to uh, clean up your plumbing HVAC system. So. Um, Main one, for me, I think changing your air filter, which should be done more than just that one time a year. So so not just spring. Yeah. How often, like, would you say? Uh, there's different filters out there. Um, the ones we recommend are, it's called a 30-day filter. Um, they let more air flow through. Mm -hmm. They don't choke down your system as much, but they have 30 days stamped on them. Uh, mine at my house uh, usually will last a couple months, though, three months max. Um but spring is a good time to go ahead and think of that and check that and start right now, uh, putting it on your schedule to change out. Um, something else that, that is 
very good with your heating system to keep it working right. All the leaves fail in the fall. Uh, mm -hmm. They probably sit there in the winter. But around your heat pump, uh, a lot of times that's where they gather. Um, so that's the outdoor unit that, that heats for your house that you can hear it kicking on, especially on these cold nights. Um, if leaves and stuff have gathered around, just clear that out. It needs as much airflow as it can to okay. breathe and work properly. What else, Ron? Um, I think it's always a good idea. Like recently, we've had a lot of rain, or a lot of rain, but also wind. Um, and so that creates problems with tree limbs and branches and things like that. So in some situations, people have culverts or uh, you know, drain lines that run in, under their driveways, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now is a good time when the weather breaks to make sure that stuff is clear mm -hmm. um, so you don't have pooling water when we enter into the rainy season and yeah. you're in a, whenever that decides to come. Uh, also, outside wall hydrants or uh, hose bibs, making sure that if you did leave your hose connected to it and it froze, when you go to turn it on, you might want to check in your basement or crawl space to make sure that it hasn't broken and there's not water spraying all over the place. Yeah. Uh, that's always a good idea. I think gutters, uh, making sure your gutters are clean, downspouts are still connected. If, you, if your downspouts are connected to pipes that run away from your house mm -hmm. to get that water away from the foundation of your home to keep, you know, if you have a basement, keep that from flooding or having moisture. Or, yeah. You know, nobody likes that. No yeah. one likes a wet base. No. Um, let's see, some other things around the house. Um, freezing through the winter, um, freezing and, and thawing a lot of times can cause um, cracks, like foundational cracks or pavement cracks, sidewalks, things of that nature. Um, so we actually, the Hey That's Neat product. Are you ready? We can just throw it in because um, really good product to fill those cracks is called slab. Hey, that's neat. Which I think is also like... Slab! It's an awesome name. It's got solid, short, just like hits you, slab. Check this out. It's the serious fix for concrete cracks. Mm -hmm. So what this Do you does, guys have any less serious fixes? Uh, I don't think like so. We're only I'm about kind of serious things here. Silly mood? Okay. Right. No, we only do serious. Yeah. When it comes to concrete cracks, <laughs> we're we, only we're serious. All business. <laughs> all business, no fun. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so the slab comes out like caulk and it actually is grainy so it kind of looks like your concrete and then it seals up and stretches so, you check that out. so it will stretch that's with the cracks next the year when the winter happens so that's uh we're going to load you up put four of those on your account before we leave here today so make sure you got how do those. they get it in there if it's sealed so the caulking gum you uh you would cut the tip off here <laughs> so how to get it in there it was just a joke but it's a dumb joke. We are sorry, <laughs> Facebook Live. All right, we'll just cut this video. We'll cut, we that, cut, out. That, out? We'll cut that, that out. We'll cut that out later in post. Edit that, edit that in post. <laughs> Which right. camera are we? Is this, we're we're going to edit that out later. <laughs> so uh, beyond this, we will go to your dryer. Dryer vent mm. um, is also a spring cleaning okay. um, thing to look for. Pull your dryer out mm -hmm. in the back of the dryer, getting the lint from there. And socks. Socks. Is um, that where they go? Coins. And I found okay. It's like a graveyard, really, mm -hmm. for socks and other random things. Yeah. So you're going to unplug it, pull it out. Dryer vent's usually connected with a little uh, clamp. Take that off mm -hmm. and vacuum out the dryer vent. That's like one of the number one sources of home fires. Dryer vent lint. Really? It's no bueno. Mm -hmm. So get that cleaned up. That's another uh, something that you can be doing. Um, if you have a, um, a home that has vents, along the um, edge of the crawl space. Okay. Those vents should be closed when it gets cold so you don't have freezing underneath the house to prevent airflow. Mm -hmm. So in the spring, open them back up to get that airflow coming back through so you don't get mold. Mold. Mold's no good. Mold is no good. That's a real problem. What else, Ryan? What are spring tips? Anything else you can think of? can't think of anything in particular. I guess, you know, gearing up for the summer you want to make sure, like, if you have window air conditioning units, maybe go ahead and get those ready, get them in place, um, make sure that they're running and operable. Yeah. And it's really, um, a lot of HVAC companies will slow down, that we do, and I know others do as well, but we'll slow down a little bit this time of year. It just got from when it was really cold. People need heat. 
going into spring, get needing mm -hmm. AC. So it's a really good time to get your unit serviced. So any HVAC unit should be serviced. Um, for your heat pump at your house, I know you have, um, it'd be a good idea to spray coal cleaner. Two heat pumps. Ooh, mansion. Yeah. <laughs> Even concepts, man. I don't know, it's just what they, it's what Burleson stocked me into. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's called an up upsell. <laughs> <laughs> um, coal cleaner, you spray the coils that uh, are on your outside unit and they brush those off and that keeps everything nice and clean. Okay. Um, the, probably the only other thing I can think of is just like keeping um, um, faucets like aerators mm -hmm. cleaned out. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good time to do that, spring cleaning wise. All the kitchen faucets and lab faucets, that little piece right at the end where the water comes out will mm -hmm. come off and it uh, get, catches debris and things of that nature. Yeah. Any other questions? Anybody have any questions out there in the Facebook world? I don't see, mostly people just saying, hey. 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 Well, um, you know, we, we, what else we have? We haven't really talked about this guy. I think we've plugged it. We're going to plug it again. Yeah, that's neat. Or is that not? This, this is this. This is our this giveaway. Is that's the hey, that's neat. My bad. This is an awesome little piece of goodness. Mm -hmm. And we're giving this away. Yes. For the next winter. And how do, how do we, how do they win this? I okay. Think? So this, what this is, is a electric tankless water heater. So really good for a faucet, like a, um, in a bathroom, maybe far away from your water heater that you just want to get some heat on. Um, that, that is a good point of use type water heater mm -hmm. that's going to heat up, um, water at the faucet and it is our giveaway next month. So we're going to be giving that away and how you win is going on burlsonplumbing.com slash QA. I know you've been there and asked slash the question. QA. I didn't win. You didn't win. That was by design, could. really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you can win this by asking a question on there. Um, we'll draw a name in the middle of the next month. Yeah. So um, go and ask more questions. We're always looking for more questions. And if you would like to recommend someone to be on the morning show, we're taking recommendations. That's right. Or if you'd like someone to be a regular staple on the morning show. Ryan's here. Ryan's up. No, yeah. not Ryan. <laughs> I'm considered a normal staple. <laughs> if, you, if you would like Zach to be back on next year, we can bring him back. I've enjoyed my time on the morning show. We're um, scheduling right now for 2025, so you should be able to. Yeah, we're looking. I think we can work in. Just got to send my audition tape in again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but we're asking some uh, other people, some other social media elites to be on the show. Um, Soggy Bottom Farms, Lacey Queen okay. has already agreed to come on hey, next Lace. week. So tune Is in next week. she bringing barbecue? I don't know. Maybe a pig mm. live and mm. then we'll make barbecue after the show. Um, I also think Adam and Emily Hobson would be fun. Yes. Or just James. Somebody tag them in this baby and tell them. Baby we want, James. We want Baby James. The viewers <laughs> Hashtag baby want James. Baby James. Yep. Um, I hear he's not so much a baby anymore. He might be like adolescent. He's, he's full grown James. Full grown James. Um, but if you want anybody else on the show, you tag them. Um, oh, I see somebody else's wife join the, the viewing party. Oh, yeah, someone, someone asked if I was single. I am not single. I am married. Uh, and I have three children. Good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> you have three kids. Gosh. You have three kids, too. <laughs> These guys. That's actually... Uh, that. I'm glad that you came on because it got Margie to come watch the morning show. Yeah, thanks, Margie. Thank you, Margie, for tuning in. You guys didn't have to tell her when that was my wife who asked that. Oh, oh. I was just okay. kind of go out there. Sorry, random girl. Thank you guys for uh, adjusting to the time. Rhino was sick yesterday, so we were letting him get on the mend. I had a, a <laughs> visit to the dermatologist this morning. It was exciting with some removal of basal cell carcinoma. So that was an exciting morning. Mm -hmm. So that's gone. All he got rid of all his carcinoma. All the carcinoma that we know of. And basil. basil. So we're back. We may try this out uh, afternoon again, maybe morning, but we'll let people know. We're going to go morning next week with the morning show. But if you like afternoon better, comment. Let us know. We're let open. them know, rather. We're open. <laughs> uh, but ask questions, and we will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us.